Let us consider the following thought question. Imagine we have current flowing through a circuit in which a light bulb is connected. Imagine as well that we have a wire that we suddenly connect across the points A and B. What happens to the current flowing through the bulb? Does it, is it the case that all the charge now fl continues to flow through the bulb just as it was before, i.e. it remains just as bright? Does the bulb get half as bright or half as much of a current flow? Or does all the current now pass through the wire? In this case, we have to think of the wire as acting like another parallel path for current to follow, starting from left to right. If we think of the wire like another resistor, its voltage drop is the current flow flowing through the wire times its resistance. Likewise, the voltage drop through the light bulb is its current flow times its resistance. The two parallel paths, the bulb and the wire, each have the same voltage drop by the definition of what we mean in, by in parallel. As a result, the voltage drop for the light bulb has to equal the voltage drop for the wire, or I wire times the resistance of the wire has to equal I bulb times the resistance of the bulb. Since the wire resistance is nearly zero, we would expect to have that the light bulb current would be nearly zero, because the only way to have my original equation hold true when the wire resistance is zero is to have the light bulb current equal zero. Therefore, the light bulb essentially extinguishes. Once I short it out with a wire across it, no current flows through the, the light bulb anymore because we would say that the current has followed the path of least resistance. When given two choices in parallel, the current predominantly goes through the path with smaller resistance.